Hi everyone, this is Cody, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I converted this Doodlebug uh, mini bike to a 212cc, 6.5 horsepower Predator engine compared to the 97cc that came on it. Okay, so first I decided I wanted to do this, so I went to Harbor Freight, I bought one of these engines, I used a 20% off coupon, so it was like $120, I think, and then I got it for like uh, 96 I think, plus tax. Um, and then, so I got it, I ran it, I broke it in, um, I also got some bolts, uh, these are the bolts they are, and then um, I moved the starter handle so it points up, so instead of pointing forward, you can start it, uh, it makes the sticker look funny, so I might just take that off, and then um, there wasn't much, too much other modifications I had to do, I hooked up the throttle assembly, okay, so the Predator engine came with a a throttle assembly that worked pretty good so I just loosened up the nut so this springs freely. It springs pretty much all the way back and it works better when it's running and then it came with a bracket so I can mount the throttle cable there I, just this it runs around here and then up in here I connected it to that um, that other thing down there I had all, it already had all the setup for it and now when I do the throttle it does that. I left the governor intact because I don't want to run this without the governor Okay, so mounting the engine uh, for me was actually quite easy. Now, most frames uh, are going to come, it's going to have the two sets of holes over there, which is what the stock engine would mount to. But for whatever reason, this actually had holes uh, drilled, which seemed to be in about the right place for this engine. So I don't know how that happened. Maybe in the past it's had one of these, but I don't think so. Although this is one of the older Doodlebug frames, I think it's around 2000 is when it was purchased, although I'm not certain. But I don't know too much about its history. So somehow it has those holes. The engine did line up pretty good uh, on it. I think the chain is almost perfectly straight. It might be a little bit too far out this way. But I, it's been working okay, and I think it's going to work. Uh, so I think that's good. Okay, so the way I wired up the switch, so there were two wires that came from the... Um, the actual doodle bug itself so the switch on it and it's just a press switch it's not like an on off switch it automatically returns so I connected the this wire that goes from the bottom side of that switch um, and up in there which originally would have gone to one of the wires that came out of the low oil shut off I connected the red wire up to that and then the black one I just hooked to an alligator clip and it's connected to the frame or the uh, just a piece of metal that's connected there uh, so it will ground itself out and then so the low oil shut off no longer works but this switch if this switch is off and either switch works now so you can switch it off with that and if that's off it won't start that has to be on and the other switch has to be on so that's kind of how I wanted it and you shouldn't need the low oil cutoff anyway if you check your oil uh, quite often Okay, so this is how I did the bracket system over here to make the um, chain guard fit. So you actually have to, the original clutch won't work. This is just a, a max torque. It's a uh, three quarter inch shaft on this engine. So you need to get one of them. And it's just fit on and it's put on backwards so the chain's on the inside. So they'll actually line up. And then I've just, I think this, this is just an aluminum piece. I drilled a hole in it, I tightened that down good. I really, I think what I'll do is probably build like a, another piece that comes up here, a, a support beam so then it will never move. Because right now if that came loose it could kind of start moving around. And then on the bottom I have another one that just comes out the right place, uh, just a steel bracket. <laughs> I used one aluminum and one steel, whatever, it works. Um, and they just tighten on to the frame and there's actually washers, I think two or three washers in between the back of each one. And the bolts I used to attach it to the uh, to the motor are just the ones that came with uh, or that would be on your original doodle bug with the chain guard and then that just attaches here and with those spacers it allows me to actually put a nut back behind it and then once it's all put together it looks like this so with this on you could put just a piece of plastic or something or metal that goes covers that but I don't think that's gonna be a big problem nothing's gonna get stuck in it. and you can kinda see the chain um, I did have to take a few links out of the chain when I put it together and this chain tensioner doesn't work very good at all so I just kind of leave it there. You can push the motor back and forth uh, to be able to adjust the chain. I haven't had too many issues with uh, this setup like this or the chain popping off or anything uh, so I think that's pretty good. The muffler on this 
actually worked surprisingly well. I'm able to ride this thing and it doesn't make that much noise. Even at max speed, it doesn't make that much noise. Uh, so I think that's good. You do have to be careful not to like burn your leg, but it's not that bad.